Hello everybody, I'm going to give you some tips for navigating our library catalog online just so you can find the books that you're looking for as you're putting them on hold. And uh, first I want to show you when you are in our, our library catalog section, you if, and if you're at home, you always want to log in first. We don't do that generally at the school because I don't want, uh, I, I would hate for you to log in and then somebody else, forget to log out and somebody else come in behind you and accidentally mess up your, your um, account. So I try not to do this at school, but at home, it's great to always be logged in. So I'm going to use my little test account, my little practice account that I made. And when that is logged in, you know Mr. Bones, our little skeleton in the library. When that's logged in, you can go to your account and see all your things in your account. You can make lists. Oh, look, Mr. Bones has a book on hold, ready to be picked up. I guess he can come on next Thursday, August 27th at 3 o'clock to pick that book up. I will have it waiting for him. Anyway, so let's get started. First of all, this is the home button. It will always take you right back to the home page. And you'll notice right here is a big section of new books that have been added to our library. So these might either be brand new books or they could be a book that was replaced from another book that was lost or damaged or something. But you'll see all these great new books and there's a big slideshow. You can even click on this arrow here and, and further yourself along the slideshow if you want. So lots of great new titles that we've added to our books, our library since you've been here last because we weren't able to check out in the fall, in the spring. And so I have new titles from then, I have new titles now, lots of great books. And you can click on here to find them. Now, when you're actually looking for a book and you know what you're looking for, you can go up to the search bar here and we have this all fields. You can search by author, title, subject, reading level, and series. Unfortunately, when we get the records from the book companies, they're not always perfect. Like for example, I have searched for Dogman and not found them all in the series. And then I'll go up to the author and I'll search for the author's name, uh, Dave, Dave Pilkey, and I will find other ones. So it's all, I, I usually use all fields unless I know specifically what I'm looking for with an author or a title or something like that. But you can try the others too. And um, also over here you'll see Canyon Creek and all these different resources, all these different places you can look like all Ramak ISD libraries. I wouldn't use that because you can't check out books from other libraries right now. Uh, we can only check them out from Canyon Creek during this time. So let's just leave that one alone and we'll come over here and I'm going to look up Nathan Hale because that is the best of both worlds. It's graphic novels for the kids and nonfiction for the parents and he is funny. So let's see what comes up. We have lots of different books that come up when I search for him. And if you look, they all have slightly different little symbols here. So this symbol uh, is, means that it's a book, and this symbol means that it's an ebook. So if I wanted to get the ebook, I could click on this download button, and because I'm already logged in, it will take me straight to Mac and Via, and I will be logged in there. It's pretty awesome. And then I can open it now, or I can um, I can um, download it if I have the app. If I have the Mac and Via app, I can download it to read it when I'm offline or whatever. So we have, almost, I think all of the Nathan Hale books, we have multi-user right now. That means that the whole campus could be reading the same Nathan Hale ebook at the same time and it would be okay um, instead of just one copy per person. That's pretty awesome. All right, I'm gonna go back to the website now. Whoops, back to the uh, catalog. And we're going to look at the books option now. Uh, when you come over to here, these are all of your filters where you can limit your book results. And since we don't want to deal with ebooks right now, we're looking for books. We're just going to, whoops, sorry, I did that backwards. We are going to just include books in our search. Okay. And you can search by genre, so biography or, non, or nonfiction or historical fiction, um, humorous, all these different things. Those are all parts of the Nathan Hale book, if you have read them, those are all parts of his books. They're all funny, they're graphic novels, they are historical, they're biographies, great stuff. And you can choose your language. We only have those in English right now. They also have reading levels, but our reading levels, we don't have a whole lot of our BAS levels for some reason. This one comes in, it's a V, so it's higher level than you might think. 
Uh, but if you look at the first number here, that usually kind of gives you an idea about the grade level and then the area of the grade level, like, you know, maybe a seven might be later on in the year. Okay, you can also look for subjects. So subjects like cartoons, this, these are cartoons and comics, they're graphic novels. Uh, extraterrestrial beings, I think one of them is about an alien. Uh, Confederate States, exploration. So these are all different types of subjects that you might find within a Nathan Hale book. You can also search by publication date. You can search by author. We already know that we're looking for Nathan Hale. And Shannon Hale, who is not related, is also a fantastic author. But she does not do this. She does graphic novels. It can be confusing. She does this awesome Rapunzel one. but uh, And he actually did the art for it. So that's kind of funny. But yeah, they're not related. I'm going to back up on that now. And then you can also go down to, again, it has library, but we're not going to use that because we can't get from other libraries right now. We can't order from other libraries. So I hope that gives you an idea. Um, what Another thing you can do is, let's say, you know what, you're going to check, I want to check this one out, and then I am going to go to, I want to read a good, long book. You know what, I've read all the Harry Potters. Let's try something new. How about the X? Expeditioners. That's a good long book. I need a long book. I like long books. So I'm going to put that book in and see if it comes up. Oh, there it is. The Expeditioners. And I'm going to put that on my list. So I clicked it. And select an option. Add to my list. And you know, I didn't add the Nathan Hale book there, so we'll just try something else. How about another good non, another good um, uh, nonfiction book? Is Rocket to the Moon, which is one of our uh, Blue Bonnet books this year, and it's also in multi. Uh, multi-user version ebook so we can all be reading it at the same time that's so cool but sometimes I just like to have the real book in my hand so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to put that on select an option add to my list as well and now I have both of those books on my list and I can think those are kind of like that's my fa like my favorite list like you know I think I might like to check those out someday and I'm gonna put them there uh, just to remind myself because I've got too many books on hold right now and you can put those there and that can remind when you're looking for books to check out uh, you can remind yourself that you want those books you can look at my lists they'll be there and then you can place a hold on them or whatever so I hope that gives you an idea I know it's kind of long so it may be parents that are listening to this instead of students but uh, please let me know if I can help you thanks